All right, folks, welcome back to another Demos for Devs. Today we are looking at End of the Mine. This was sent to me by the developers in a download code. It was a couple of months ago. I apologize for the delay once again, like with Onion Force. What is End of the Mine? Well, Ledapper Greninja, it's... Best way I can describe it, it's like Dead Space via Mega Man. It's a uh, 2D platformer. Well, the best way we showed off is to go right from the start. We need we um we missed the intro because I've already played a bit of this game. But you are a miner who is part of a um, excavation crew who, after you ha have this big drunken bender one night, you wake up in the morning and everyone is gone. And there's a bunch of crazy shit going around. There's monsters everywhere, or at least when you go down into the mine. Game controls pretty well, it's not too loose. Same with the cursor. Though it, I admit that is kind of funny looking. There's a slight bit of mining. Um, this is mostly just for uh, cash to gather up and get upgrades. Now the weapon I'm currently using I think is the nail gun. It's a weapon you unlock later in the game. But it's almost overpowered. Seems like it's not supposed to be. Because there's limited ammo for it. But there's a ton of it everywhere. So it ends up not really being much of a problem. I'm controlling with a controller. Use the left stick to move around. Right, um, right stick to adjust your aim. We do get some throwable uh, explosives. I'm not really paying attention. Now that's kind of cheap. Usually when you find these chests, they have semi-rare uh, ammo, like the throwable explosives. In that case, it just sent a bunch of enemy drones after me. It does look like a flash game. But it plays pretty well. I give it my thumbs up. Usually in these checkpoints, we can actually buy more ammo and upgrades, but not in that one, since it's just a tutorial. This here, this pistol, is the weapon we start off with. That's a nail gun, and we, later we pick up... I think that's a flamethrower, but the flame's not coming out. And the flame is still burning, even as the level completes. There is some exploration to this. Occasionally you'll come across areas that hide secrets. But uh, let's actually jump ahead a bit and turn up the volume. Oh, you can jump back to a checkpoint if you need to. Let's continue for where I left off in the second zone, as it were. Second or third. So like this, the second area in the game is called Moldy. Pretty full on everything, I don't need to... I need... 
Your robot buddy hangs on your health packs. So you need to remember to use them yourself. He doesn't automatically use them. Let's turn that down. But my personal favorite workhorse is definitely the nail gun. Here's the secret. More crystals. There's a bunch of different upgra uh, upgrade parts. So you're not going to be able to upgrade everything. Especially not consistently. So like, you might be able to upgrade something after a couple of levels, but don't count on it. Oh yeah, the enemies in this game are freaky as fuck. That's why I call it Dead Space via Mega Man. It does autosave, I think. there. Let's see if I can get under that. No, I can't. Still need to adjust the game volume. That should be fine. Stuck on the wall, but it's still counting it as I'm fine. What isn't isn't destructible isn't immediately apparent. Flying enemies are the biggest pain. Them and the turret enemies, if we're gonna come across those. These guys are just gross looking. Like corrupted Lego. Sometimes there can be secrets just in the walls. Like you can't blow up a wall. There just may not be a wall there. There's also strange occult things and whatever that was. For a cartoony game, there's lots of juiciness. I'm not sure if there's any other way I'm supposed to mine that off of the ceiling. Yeah, call it the best parts of Newgrounds without the Newgrounds. See, you would think the nail gun with th how big that spread is, you think it'd be a problem, but it, it fires so fast. And enemies don't really actively seek you out. Look at how much ammo I'm getting for it. I'm never going to run out. I guess we can look at some of the other weapons. There's contact grenades. Those are fun. This, I feel like this is a mine. Though it looks like a floppy disk. Refill on flamethrower rounds that I'm not using. But, uh, let's give it another chance at least. I uh, hear these caves are a sign 
it's boss fight time. Boss fights do give off the air of Binding of Isaac. Just not nearly as intentionally gross. Is that a beer? Got the bus meter at the very top of the screen where you're not paying attention. Flamethrower is actually being pretty good for this. The widespreads take care of the litter, uh, little guys. And I think the beer is actually healing me. That or I'm not taking any damage anyway. It is the Mushroom Guys from Dark Souls. Yeah, that beer is definitely healing me. Which, beer got me into this mess. Or maybe it saved me, because I feel like I'd be dead if I wasn't drunk that first day. But out of the way, this is a strange situation I found myself in. go back to my workhorse. Oh, here I'm about to die. Yep, that's what happens if you don't pay attention to your health. Your health could disappear if you're not careful. Luckily, I wasn't too far from a checkpoint. Yeah, there is a lot of detail to it, which I appreciate. One funny thing is when you die, it, it the game keeps track of your progress. Like, you go back to a checkpoint, but everything that you left or take, like, any um, containers you destroyed, any I uh, items that might have let, been laying around on the ground, they'll still be there. I don't know what the giant mushroom dude is doing, Is just kicking back and break dancing or head banging or he's just enjoying himself I'm actively trying to pick up damage here never thought I'd say this but the flamethrower is being pretty useful here so let's go, uh, go back to that There's also a dash, which I maybe I should utilize more. Yeah, he's just dancing. There's something slightly cheap about this. Maybe we can go back to the nail gun. Am I being poisoned? Is that what's happening? Luckily, I have healing packs. You press uh, whatever controller. Like, whatever X would be on your controller for this. I'm using an Xbox controller. So that X. Not a PlayStation X. This guy's definitely the toughest boss that I've fought yet. I am just standing around in the poison. I wasn't paying attention. Also, your robot can eventually um, upgrade to include a laser on him, but... It's not nearly as effective as your own weapons.
Yeah, I only noticed right at the end the mushrooms at the corners of the screen were hurting me. Sometimes the camera's not cooperative. It depends on the situation you're in. It's like, way back here, it's really up close. You can't tell if there's anything around you until you've left the current screen. Somehow there were nails just jumping off the corner of the screen to get to me. Yeah, I'm not hurting for ammo. I wonder if it, they did try to put it on 3DS. Probably one of those games that'd be good for it. It'd probably be easier to manage your equipment and to switch between weapons with the touchscreen than with the D-pad, like I have here. <laughs> wakey, wakey. So you can see there are multiple paths to take. Usually just two, maybe three. And I can't tell if they take you to the same place or not. Because it, feel, it feels like I've come across bosses that I wouldn't have gotten to if I had just gone right the whole time. You do eventually get tired of seeing the same enemies. Here, this is one of the flavor texts that... I'm guessing these are logs from the other miners. Things they said before monsters showed up and ate them. Accidentally threw out a grenade. here, this arcade machine. This is actually where we upgrade our robot buddy. And we do that with a very simple mini game. Just destroy as many of these as you can. There's no real... Like, there is a time limit. You're gonna make it just fine. These guys aren't gonna hurt you. And then I can just immediately exit any upgrades. Is there a map? Yes, there is. Press select. What is... Is this a shield? I wasn't quite paying attention. I don't know what it gave me. Feels like the nail gun is both fast and pretty powerful. So even though it misses a ton of shots, the ones that hit count. Now this, we use flamethrower on. I like that, I like that. There are specific uh, weapons you need to use to, to get through blockades. And that is a mystery part to a weapon that we can't use until we get all the parts. I'm guessing it's sort of like the rhino to this game. Getting around is pretty quick. Quick and easy. Oh, yeah, you need to be careful. 
you look up there, you can see your robot buddy is a, a battery. That relates to the flashlight, so once things get dark, you're not going to be happy. Oh, there's a corpse of a friend. Oh, so you can slightly walk up slanted walls. I do love the mining animation. Rocket in the free world. One thing I am noticing, as soon as I start mining, there's a frame rate drop. And I don't think that's necessarily because I'm streaming, though it could be related. It's right here. 60 FPS. Drop down to, I don't know what. There are secrets up there. I wonder if I can get back up. Yes, I can. No problem. You got plenty of boost in your jetpack. Is this where... No, this is a different area. It's easy to get lost because a lot of the areas look exactly the same. Pretty semi-small tile set. The game does look pretty nice. But it's uh, definitely a low-budget indie title. Here we have spawners. Not really a problem, though. Even though I am losing a bit of health. Nice. You, can't, you guys can't see it, but I just got an achievement for killing 100 enemies. Here's the workshop. Where I can actually do things. If I had enough to upgrade. It's always good to be fully stocked up. Because you never know when you're going to fight a giant mushroom dude and need all the health you can get. Good lord. Slightly more fucked up than some of the enemies I fought in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Because at least in those games, they're based off of pre-existing concepts. I have no idea what this is based off of. Explosives are also pretty useful. You'll want to switch to the grenades, though, and not the dynamite, because dynamite has a delayed explosion. Grenades fire, uh, explode as soon as they hit something, I think. Ah, damn. I do like the music. Also, I've somehow switched to my piddly little pistol. Piddlestole. Oh, and of course, this place has mushrooms too. I think I'm gonna wanna stay behind him. I can kind of see a problem with this playstyle. I don't know if it's me or just the controls, but oh good. Trying to aim and fire them in the middle of the air when I've only got two hands isn't easy. It's like I need to have, uh, have myself boosting off just in a direction, take my hand off the control stick and move my thumb to the other stick so I can aim. Ugh. 
you're gonna go through your legs. Oh, I see, that's a sticky bomb. Or is it not? It's a bomb of any sort, whatever. And I just got an achievement called What Just Happened, which seems apt. And I got a crossbow, nice. Well, let's actually test it out on enemy. And you get, at the end you get ranks, depending on how fast you complete an area. I don't think it has anything to do with your health or the amount of enemies you destroyed or secrets you found. It's just your ranking for speed, so. Let's at least find an enemy. So we can test this out. I, what is that? Was that supposed to be ammo? I couldn't tell. Oh boy. Let's go the other way. Crossbow seems pretty strong. But again, aiming is a little funky. Can you rebind the controls? I don't think so. No, I think they're stuck to where they are. This is probably something you want to save for the bigger enemies. Oh, look. Speaking of mushrooms. But I think you guys get the point. So yeah, not the most complex game. Got a decent challenge for what it is. Side-scrolling platformers and shooters weren't really my thing. I never really got into Mega Man. Even though I tried. But there are some good ideas in this. And I definitely re recommend... Looking up on Steam, at least. Seeing if maybe it'll be something more along uh, your speed. It's five ninety nine, so it's really not much of a, a loss. And it is a decent, uh, of a decent quality. So I say give it a look. Maybe it'll be something more to your liking than mine. It was at least a good game, and I, want, of course, want to support the developers because they are local to my home city of Sacramento. So shout out to them just for that. But that was the end of the mine. Pretty interesting and pretty cool.